hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Charmaine, and today we are going to be subbing on the 99 cent puzzles that you can get from Michaels. Yes, there are puzzles in the kids department. Just ask for the kids puzzle in Michaels, at Michaels, for 99 cents. I will show you the packaging and everything when we go to the heat press, but right now I'm going to go ahead and find the design, and let's go. First, you I'm using Sil Silhouette Studio. Yes, this is the business edition, but there is a free edition for Silhouette. So those of you that have a Cricut, yes, I have a Cricut Maker. I have a Cricut Explorer 2, and I have a Cameo Silhouette. And yesterday, I bought me the Cricut Joy. Yes, y'all. I got me the Cricut Joy, so I will be doing more videos. I will do a few videos on the Cricut Joy. I basically bought that because it's easy to make cards. Yes, you can make cards with um, Explorer Air 2 and the Cricut Maker. But it's just so much simpler to do it with the Cricut Joy. And it's just they have to the mat the size you need so you don't have to go and fold the cards. You don't have to, um, what's it called? Um, I can't think of the word you use. Um, soil, um, you don't have to, you don't have to do so much with, with the cards. You can just basically put the card in on the mat and cut it out and voila, it's done. It's so much simpler. But yes, you could do it with the, with the, um, other crickets but I just want to get it because it's easy and you can get it done quicker and I also have the um the Sizzix too Sizzix is a machine that you can do a lot of different cards with and you can embroider um you can do a lot of different things with the Sizzix also so I can do some videos on that too let me know what you want me to do videos on the Sizzix the Cricut Maker or the Cameo or the um I have the Cameo 3 or either the Joy. And I also have the um, Cinch. So, yeah. I would be glad to do tutorials on whatever machine you want to use. Or learn how to use, okay? Silhouette, I'm still learning the Silhouette. I do have a few videos on how to use Silhouette Studio. Like I was saying, there is a free version. So if you have a Cricut and you want to be able to print bigger and also do a lot of different things with your designing, your designs and stuff, Get you go ahead and download this Silhouette Studio. You can get it on the internet and just download on your on your computer for free. Okay. So let me see. Go to file and I'm gonna go to merge and find me an image, y'all. I don't know what I'm gonna be using today, so I'm just gonna go ahead and look for one and I'll be back. Okay, I decided I'm gonna make a whole <laughs> little nice little puzzle, okay? <laughs> yes, I decided I'm gonna just do a whole little scenery for this puzzle. Okay. So let me go ahead and make sure, bring this over, and I'm going to be using 11, 8 and a half by 11, so I'm going to go ahead and change my paper because I just did something that was 11 by 17, so I'm going to change this paper to 8.5 by 11 because that's the size of the puzzle. Okay, there we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and make this 8 and a half. By 11 enter okay so there we have it boom 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 okay <laughs> okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and go hit file merge I'm gonna just pick some girls out and just I like they're on the beach pick out another let's see what I have here uh, 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 uh. I'll probably pick up a couple ladies. Let's see what we got in here. Let's pick her out. Okay, she's cute. On the beach with some boots on, huh? <laughs> That's what we're going to do, y'all. That's what we're going to do. Okay, and let's go ahead and go another one. File, merge. Let's pick out another lady somewhere else. I have so many files, so please don't ask me where I got these from because I don't remember. Uh, I know I get a lot of these clip arts from Feathers of Style. But I don't think she came from feathers, feathers of style. But I get them all from Etsy. So just look up women clip arts, and you better find it. Let's see what she got on. Oh yeah, I mean oh, I'm gonna do her. I'm gonna do them. They're cute. This is something brand new. I just purchased these. I think I got these from feathers of style. These are cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and take her out and get another lady bow, um, merge and get another lady with like her. Let's do her. She looks cute on the beach. Okay, so we're gonna get these two ladies right here. Let's close her up a little bit so we got some room for the other girls. So see, today we're gonna do some silhouette. 
um, tutorials to show you how to use silhouettes. I don't have that many because I'm still learning, like I said. But I'm going to get there. I love silhouette because you can do so many different things with silhouette. I love their, um, their, um, what's it called? You can do a lot of different things with your fonts and stuff. I love that. You can do a lot of modifying. You can do a lot of stuff with with silhouettes. You can't do a Cricut, and you can print bigger. That's why I'm on here now because well, you can still you can't print eight and a half by eleven in Cricut. So that's why I'm using silhouette. Okay. Okay. Let's see how that looks like that. Okay. That's that's cool. Let's find a font to put up here on the top of this um page of this puzzle. So let's go to File, Merge, and I'm going to my fonts. I mean, not my fonts, but my Word wording. Let me see what how I name what I name it. Let's see. Let's go into my text files. I'm sorry. Okay, and let's see what I'm going to put on here. Um, I wanna, feeling fierce. Let's see if we got a background. Feeling fierce. Oh, that's cute. And I don't have the background in there. Good. So I have to. I don't have to trace that. So let's go ahead and. Make this smaller and put it right here. This is this is an interesting puzzle, isn't it, isn't it y'all? <laughs> this would be a nice little um, cover for a, a um, notebook too. This is cute, y'all. But I'm just making a puzzle today so you can just see how you can put things together in silhouette. That's cute. So let's see. Okay, I'm gonna put something on these shirts, y'all, so they can be a little bit more fancier. So I'm going to go to File, Merge, and I'm going to go, this, I'm in my text file still, so I'm going to go ahead and put one, I'm going to put Blessed on one of them. Cool, I ain't got to trace that one. Like I said, you can use this right here, this whole thing can go right on a uh, um, journal. It would be too cute for a journal. And I can even do that, I can make this a journal and a puzzle um, package deal. Okay, that would be real cute. That right there. Let's find something else to put on her another girl's shirt. Merge. And let's see what we can find to put on her shirt, y'all. I put blessed on there. Let's see. Um, flawed, but not but flawed but still worthy. Gold digger. Um, I'll do the gold digger. No, I'll do yeah, I'll do mm, I'll do the flaw but not worthy, but still worthy. Oh, uh, shoot. I got to trace that. So I don't feel like tracing that, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to go back to merge. And I'm going to go ahead and do the... Maybe I did the SVG. Maybe that'll work. Let's see. Yep. Okay, I just picked SVG instead of the PNG, so I don't have to worry about tracing it because I'm being lazy. I'm going to get this video over with. Okay. Let's see. Make it a little smaller. So now y'all see how we do this, y'all. If y'all seeing like, how y'all put that stuff on these ladies' shirts? So you do is get you an SVG, or you can make your own text and put it on here. Just make it smaller, group it, and make it smaller and put it right on their shirts, okay? Where you can do, you know, find an SVG or a PNG to put on there, okay? So all you do is all you gotta do. You making these little dials for whatever project you can do to put this on t-shirts too. Okay, I like this. I might put on a shirt. I like this. Or either this would be cute on a luggage tag, y'all. I'm going to say this for my for a luggage tag. This is too cute. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, so now you can do what you're going to do now. Just go ahead and highlight. You can group it if you want to, but you really don't have to group it because you're just printing and cutting it. I'm going to go ahead and group it just to group it. So I just right click, uh, highlight it, right click, and then I'm going to go ahead and go to group. So now it's going to move all at one. Okay, at one item. Okay. So now let me go ahead and go to my, now we're done with this, y'all. That's all we have to do. See how easy that was? We are in silhouette, and this is all we have to do. And they are fierce, okay? So now I'm going to go to file, and I'm going to change my page settings because I did just print out something on, I just did a fan. So check out that video. I just did a fan, and that was 11, that was 11 by 17 paper. So now I'm going to go back and use my U.S. letter, which is U.S. letter borderless. And see, now it's 8. 0.5 by 11. Yes, you can print up to 11 by 17. You can print up to um 13 by 19. 
with this printer, okay? 13 by 19 paper. I have some of the major paper that um that wide. I got it from it's A sub 13 by 19 paper. So you can print that big from silhouette and also from your um Epson 7710, 7720 printers, y'all. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to I'm gonna go ahead and print. And we're doing puzzles, so we do have to um we're using heat, so we do have to um flip it. Let's go to layout and make sure it's flipped horizontal because we're using heat. And then we um, go back to media quality and make sure it's on best. And I just make it select the auto selection, okay? And then my printer is already set as um, premium presentation paper matte, okay? So you use that when you set up the because it just make the print, it make it to print, you know, better. Okay, so now it's going to go ahead and print. I'm going to and make sure you put your paper upside down in your printer. And once that print out, I'm going to meet you over at my heat press. See you soon. Okay, I'm back, y'all. Here's my image. Okay. Here's the eight and a half by 11, 11 paper. And then here's the puzzle. This is how the packaging look in the, in the puzzle. I want to show y'all that. Sorry, I can't really show you because I have my heat press right in front of me. So this is it right here. Okay, this is how it looks. Okay. It's the um, 48 piece puzzle. So let me go ahead and open this. And more, like the, most of the puzzles come with cardboard. This don't come with cardboard under it, so. It is what it is. Okay, so now I'll just go ahead and place the paper on top of the puzzle and it fits perfectly right on top of the puzzle. Just make sure it's lined up right so you won't get any white on the puzzle. Okay, and what I do with this, I basically just tape the paper down onto the paper. So when I move. Make sure it's even on each side. Get my little rusty, crusty elbows out the way. <laughs> okay, so now I'll take it on this side. I'll take it over here. I'll go ahead and screw it in. I'll go ahead and place the other paper on top and let it go ahead and go for 60 seconds. My heat press is for eight, um, 386 for 60 seconds because my heat press gets really hot. But I just did a fan a few minutes ago and it didn't heat all the way through so i'm gonna let it sit for a little while i'm gonna let it when it beep i'm gonna let it go ahead and run for a little while longer okay um subscribe to my channel hit the red bell if you're um to be notified for when i upload new videos share this video also join my um brown girls craft for cricket facebook group we do a lot of things in that group we have so much fun and also have a sublimation group called sublimation blanks and creation on fa facebook all the links are below also check out my website www.charminggalboutique.com and my Etsy page, Charming Gal Boutique, number two. I'm also affiliated with Amazon. If any link below, if you purchase for anything from my Amazon links below, I will get a certain percentage with no cost, with no extra cost to you. That really helps my channel. All the money that goes to my channel to help me buy more products and stuff to do the videos with. Also, check out the um, link below. It's spelled M-U-J-K-A cliparts.com right now if you go to their website you'll receive 20 percent off your total purchase she has a lot of nice things on her website a lot of nice clip arts and um, pngs okay on her website so check her out like i said if you use the code below click on that link below you can get 20 percent off okay okay so let's check and see how it did y'all like i said i let it go, sit over a little bit probably about 65 seconds and i did 380 degrees and look at that that's beautiful y'all that is beautiful and i still have a little bit more ink on here but that's just how things go i don't want to i don't want to press it too much longer because it will burn the puzzle it, the, the puzzle probably loses shape and start bending but it did pretty good okay let me show you real quick how it looks look at that that is beautiful let me just go ahead and stand it up i'm sorry i got my you know, tie -tie, so a little that is beautiful, y'all.
I love making puzzles. All right. And let it cool off. And this is really pretty. I can um, put the plastic back on there and let it cool off. And I can sell this puzzle, okay? So any questions, please leave them below. Let me know what videos you want to see. I'm back and moving y'all. Trying to get these videos out. I've been gone for a minute, but I'm back. Okay? So um, let me know what you want to, what you want me to do tutorial on. Like I said, I have the um, Tricky Joy. I have the Sizzits. I have the... Um, I have a lot of different things that I can do work with you on, okay? I have the Cricut Maker, the Explore Air 2, the Cameo 3, and I have the, um, I can make can make little notebooks and stuff with, okay? The Cinch. I couldn't think of the word. The Cinch. So, let me know what you want to see next. I do two to three videos a week. A week. And until next time, catch you later. Have a good day.